Hello guys and welcome back to another video on architecture topics with another free interesting add-ons that you probably missed while learning Blender. Those add-ons as we will see in this video are really awesome and a must get if you want an easy workflow with your 3D design. So without any further ado, let us jump into this. The G-Scatter is an amazing free add-on and it has been made available by the Grasswald 3D, and the link in the description will bring you to this main page where you can download this add-on for free. The tool is beyond awesome and can lift your work to a new level. You can go down the page and look on the features that's available by this tool and the variations of operations it can make, and once you do that, you can go back to the download button, select the versions for your blender and just download it. Now in blender, let us head to the add-on install section in the properties, then locate the download file to install it. Here in the location row inside the add-on you can see where the main menu is which most of the time in the side panel, now how can we use this tool, first, let us add a plane and scale it up then add some cuts to it with subdivisions. After that we can assign this plane here as a floor to scatter on. To use the G-Scatter library we can press this icon to see the free available assets. So let's say we want this grass asset, we can select it, then from the bottom right section, hit scatter selection and press OK to add it to the scene. And here are the grass on your plane, it's previewed as a proxy to make it light on the scene, so to show it normally, we can head to the geometry section and turn off the proxy preview, from here on, we can go and experiment with all the settings available, from the density of distribution, to the scaling and rotation of those grass, we can further control this via many aspects like the weight paint or the camera view to limit the grass in the scene to only what you see, all those are available with this tool, you can also add assets and assign them in the add-on to be scatter on surfaces and expand your free library here, so go get it now. Next we have the Parallax Pack with the KitOps free add-on, those two amazing things can help add really awesome assets to your scene with click and drop process. The pack we are seeing now contain free version of 6 interior scene that seems helpful if you want to drop some realism on your buildings, the KitOps free tool also contain a numbers of free things that varies from hard surface to simple architecture elements like doors and windows. So upon installing the kit tool, you need to go down to the file paths and assign the first pack location, then in the side panel, we can open the add-on and just choose any of the many options it has, then just click and drop some awesome easy assets on your scene, now how cool is that?
This next one we have is an interior assets library provided by 3D Shaker. This collection of models previewed here are one of four free packs provided by the creator and you can get them now for free and with one click. This page along with other packs here on Blender Marker can give you roughly 60 to 70 free high quality models for your interior design process. You can also visit the main 3D Shaker site to download all 4 free packs with other vegetation models and just add them to your library while they still free. The Low Poly Environment Builder is a great tool for beginners in the low poly making, and though this add-on only provide a demo pack in the free version to play with, it's still more than enough to get your head around how awesome this is, and to learn how those scenes can be made. So once you enable the add-on, we can open the sidebar to locate it, then by one click we can add this environment to the scene. Now the last add-on we have on this video can help you work around with this environment, but let us see this first before we jump into that, the asset are quite beautiful and being low poly I think it adds to it more charm. And as we said if you are a beginner and want to learn this kind of things it's really a good start for you, so just keep it in mind. Last but not least is the Nature Clicker. This awesome and simple tool can help you distribute objects around your scene with no time or efforts, so to play with it let us first add the last environment we had, the low poly one, and let me first delete the ground and replace it with a simple plan just to keep things smooth, then while the plane selected, in the Nature Clicker tab, we can assign the plane as a floor to distribute objects on it, then we can select any number of objects and just click to copy them randomly in each click. How amazing is this? And it will be more amazing if you have a collection of free assets with this tool. However if that's not the case, don't worry, we got your back. Go watch this video and get the free assets there, and keep your free library growing. So that's it. Hope this been useful, and see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.